Hey guys, this is Pasan from Tech Answered and let's get started. So guys about Linux CLS scripting and we have covered till for loop, while loop and until loop okay and in the last video I have also given a practical demonstration of how to make this loop and how to utilize this loop in your Linux CLS script. In this tutorial we are going to see how to make functions and how to use functions in your program okay so for that I am going to create a CLS script so the name of CLS script is s23.sh and this is just a sample. A random naming convention so nothing like that okay so what we will do is that we are going to write a cell program here so let us define bin as such okay and after that I just want to give a function so I just want to give the name of function as greet okay so greet user okay so let us see how we are going to use this function in our program okay so for that we just need to give this one and uh, we will do this thing we will echo uh, and we will ask from user that okay what is your name and then better than that we will greet user okay so enter your name okay and this uh, will be read in a variable which is called as name and it is as simple as that okay and after that uh, uh, what system will do system will echo and will try to greet the user so system will say hello uh, welcome to uh, Linux. Welcome to Linux. Yeah, as simple as that. We can do that. Okay, so let us make use of that variable which I defined. Hello, dollar name. Okay, so simple as that. This is as easy as a program can go. Okay, and after that, we just need to close this. Okay, and then we need to call the function. So I am calling the function. Okay, so I will use the function name and I will simply call it. Okay. Apart from that, I am not giving uh, any much functionality here, so I am just going to uh, call this function and let us say, uh, let us see what happens, okay? And then after that, I'll close the program, okay? So let us run this program, uh, sh s twenty three dot sh. Enter your name. It is asking for my name, so I'll give my name. So you can see, hello, Prasant, welcome to Linux, okay? So this is one such example where you saw how we can easily write a function and we can uh, first is the function but there is no such uh, you know uh, hard this is no such hard coupling just like in Java where you have to follow a lot of procedures and rules and uh, this is nothing like that it is very simple you just have to define a function okay you just have to put the function uh, body inside a curly brace and then you have to call the function okay it is as simple as that say for example uh, you want to uh, say uh, you want to uh, you know add some more uh, things in this program okay so let me add some more things so we go uh, let us say we make a calculator okay so um, it is as simple as that so let us do addition okay I'm, I'm not going to write a very long script or something but I'll just uh, uh, try to uh, simplify it so that it can it is easy for you guys okay and so what we have done here in this case is that we are trying to uh, take two numbers from user a and b okay then we are doing a mathematical sum and we are displaying the output in this one okay so let us consider so i do not i cannot uh, close this using pi here if i have to use elif okay so what i will do i will do elif dollar uh, Python equals 2 okay then in that case again we have to follow the same strategy here okay so let us just copy it and let us just paste it and see what happens when I do this okay so I just paste it here okay so um, it should be a minus okay so, and um, difference is dollar c all right so this will work left in third situation if our choice is a multiplication choice so again we have to follow the same thing <coughs> so again the same thing I will try to just paste it here so uh, I will take two numbers so I will just give uh, so multiplication follows along with this sign so if you remember uh, this is the sign how you do a multiplication in so I will write result it 
is better to write result result is this one okay so uh, l if again uh, last condition because uh, again it is a divide condition as well so we'll just simply uh, copy this one and we'll paste it all together over here okay so i have done the pasting uh, i have to modify the choice number which is four as if okay and i have to remove this one okay result is this one all right so uh, last case is that else uh, if user tries to enter anything else okay because users are smart and they try to enter anything so display message wrong choice uh, wrong choice all right that's it and i will close this program with five okay let us run this program hope i have not made any mistake in the program let us run this program and see what happens okay so name is uh, you guys know Sushant. okay let us say i want to do a multiplication with number 12 and number 12 144 oh syntax error so let us see why we got the syntax error um probably this not has to go like this okay because this yeah i think more like this one so this should work uh, let us run it again let us select 3 12 into 12 144 result is 144 see guys this is how you can uh, write okay again um, you know um, i can also modify this program a little bit so let us say um so what we can do is that we can put uh, these things okay what we are creating inside a function okay so rather than writing here i can just uh, define a module okay so uh, basically a function so function addition okay and that goes inside this one and um, i think it goes okay it is just a function uh, okay so not to define function here so what i can do is that i can uh, you know i can put this inside a function function calculation okay and <clears throat> what i will do is that i will put a bracket here okay and i will write calculation all right that's it let us run this one sorry guys it is just 23 into your name because i already have a function uh, so it is running so you can see welcome to linux so second function which is calculation which is running so i want to subtract i want to subtract 12 from 13 so difference is minus one okay again for the same program okay if you want to continue you have to use loops uh, it will try to show you again and again and i have already explained this thing so you can go if you want to divide 12 with 2 so output is 6 okay so guys our program is working fine here this is the program you can see and you can take for your reference what i have done i have created two functions first is to greet user and then calling the function second is to write a function for calculation and then all the logic of calculation addition subtraction multiplication and division goes inside it and after that i'm closing here this function and calling that function name so guys that's it for this video if you like my content please make sure to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you guys